Hey everyone, it's Sarah Threadster Nurse RN.com, and in this video, I'm going to be solving some IV flow rate dosage calculations, specifically solving for hourly rate, milliliters per hour. And whenever you get done watching this video, you can access a free quiz that will give you some more practice questions. So let's get started. Now to help me solve these problems, I am going to be using a formula. And the great thing about solving dosage calculations is that you can use various methods. It really depends on what method you like and what whatever your program's requiring you to use to solve these problems. So in my previous videos, I used dimensional analysis to help me solve for the hourly rate. But today, I'm gonna to concentrate on using this formula. So what does this formula say? Well, it says that whenever we plug in this information, we will be able to have our hourly rate, milliliters per hour. How many milliliters that patient should be receiving every hour? So how do we get that? Well, the top part of your formula is the milliliters part. This is where you're gonna plug that in. And this is the total amount that is ordered for your patient, the total volume amount. Then that's over the total hours that it needs to be infused over. So you will put that in, divide that, and then you get milliliters per hour. So let's take a look at this problem. Our order says that the physician wants the patient to receive 500 milliliters over eight hours we need to solve for how many milliliters per hour the patient should be receiving. So how many milliliters does a patient need to be infused with over eight hours in order to equal this total volume of 500 milliliters? Well, let's plug it into our formula. So the first part is our total volume the patient needs to receive. That's going to be 500, and that's going to be divided into the hours. They need to receive this over an eight hour period. So that's going to be over eight. So just divide. 500 divided by eight equals 62.5. Now with these calculations, we round to the nearest whole number. So since 62.5, we will round to 63. So 63 milliliters per hour is what the patient needs to receive in order to equal what the physician ordered. Now let's look at this problem. It says that the physician has ordered the patient to receive two liters to be infused over 12 hours. And we need to solve for the hourly rate, the milliliters per hour. So with our formula, it's milliliters over hours. We divide that and we get our answer. But look at this problem. Our total amount, volume amount, is in liters. So we gotta do a little converting. So remember from the metric table that one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters. So whenever you say a thousand times two, you get 2,000. So two liters is equivalent to 2,000 milliliters. So that's what we're going to put in on the top part of our formula. So we're going to put 2,000 and it needs to infuse over 12 hours. This is where our time goes, so over 12. And we're gonna divide that, so 2,000 divided by 12, that gives us 166.66 repeating, and we're gonna to round to the nearest whole number, and that gives us 167 milliliters per hour, and that is our hourly rate. But now let's look at this problem, and let's say that it's asking for you to solve for the total volume instead of the hourly rate. So the problem says that the physician wants a patient to have an infusion to run at 167 milliliters per hour for 12 hours, and then you'll solve the infusion. So what's the total volume that's going to be given? So how would you solve for that? Well, what you would do with this one is that instead of dividing, you're going to just multiply. So you would take your volume that you need to give every hour, which is 167, and you would just multiply it by 12. So you would say 167 times 12, because I need to get that every hour for 12 hours. And whenever you do that, you get 2,004 milliliters. That is the total volume that the patient will be receiving at this hourly rate. Now let's take a look at this problem. It says that the physician wants us to infuse one liter over six hours. And it says that we have a drop factor of 15 drops per milliliter. And we need to solve for an hourly rate. How many milliliters per hour should the patient be receiving? 
And we have to take it a step further and figure out how many drops per minute the patient should be receiving. So if you already notice this problem's a little bit different than those other ones, because we're having to solve for the drops per minute. And the reason I wanted to throw this type of problem in for you is because whenever you're solving these IV flow rates, they're also gonna ask along with this hourly rate, the drops per minute. So you wanna be familiar with these drop factors. And I have a whole video where I go into detail about this and how to set up the formula and to solve it. So after you watch this, if you need more practice and more explanation on this topic, you can check out that video. So the first thing, let's go ahead and let's solve for this hourly rate right here. Okay, here's our formula. And we have to give one liter. So we need to put that into milliliters. And we know from the metric table that one liter equals a thousand milliliters. So there we go, we have our answer, it's a thousand. So put in a thousand up here. And physician wants it in over six hours. So we're gonna put six down here and we're just gonna divide. So a thousand divided by six is 166.66 repeating and we're gonna round to our nearest whole number. So 167 milliliters per hour is our hourly rate. That's what that needs to go in at. Now let's solve for the drops per minute. So in order to do that, we need to be familiar with our drop factor. So what in the world is a drop factor and where does this come from? Well, this information comes from the IV tubing package. It will tell you on it what the drop factor is for this particular tubing. And a drop factor is the number of drops it takes in order to create one milliliter of solution that you're giving. So with this particular tubing that we have, it says that for every 15 drops it's creating, it's making one milliliter of solution. So in order to solve for drops per minute, there's another formula that you want to memorize to help you with it. And this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna put this there. So it says that for the total volume that you're giving, so the milliliters will be here, you're gonna divide that into the time, but the time is going to be minutes. So minutes will be here. And normally your problem will give it to you in hours. So it'll be like hours times 60 minutes. And that will give you the amount of minutes because in one hour there's 60 minutes. So we would multiply to get the amount of minutes. And then we're gonna take that and we're gonna multiply that by the, drip the drop factor. So by the drop factor. And this is going to equal the drops per minute. And we have our answer. So let's apply that formula to this problem so you can see. Okay, let me erase this, give us a little bit more room. Okay, milliliters. So we are going to be giving one liter of fluid and we figured out that one liter equals a thousand milliliters. So a thousand milliliters. And we are giving it over six hours. So six times 60 will give us the minutes because we have six hours times 60 minutes. Whenever we do that, that will give us 360 minutes. So that is the time. And we're going to multiply that by the drop factor, which is 15. So whenever you divide 1,000 by 360, you get 2.777 repeating, and then we multiply that by 15, and when you multiply that out, you get 41.66 repeating, and we'll round to the nearest whole number, so that will give us 42 drops per minute. And that is our answer. Now you may be wondering, whenever I work that problem solving for the drops per minute, couldn't we have just plugged in, instead of this information with the one liter over six hours, couldn't we just have plugged in the hourly rate that we saw for previously, which again was 167 milliliters per hour. And absolutely you could have. So instead of putting one liter, which would have been 1000 milliliters over six hours, you could have did it this way with this formula. You could have put in 167 because that's how many milliliters they should be received every hour and that's going to be over the minutes so it says that every 60 minutes because one hour has 60 minutes in it they're going to be receiving 167 mls so we would put it over 60. 
and then you're going to multiply it by its drop factor, which is 15. So whenever you divide 167 by 60, you get 2.7833 repeating, and then you multiply that by 15, and whenever you do that, you get 41.75. And again, when you round to the whole number, you get 42 drops per minute as your answer. So you got the same exact answer by just plugging in that information as well. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to solve for the hourly flow rate. And if you'd like to watch more videos in this series, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.